Anyhow, guys, this is going to be a best of five between some top ten players. Uh, I believe they are number six and seven respectively right now. So does this override them? Who knows? Yoda, do you want to introduce our players? I'll introduce one here. <laughs> All right, so <laughs> who is this? I can't even tell who's gray. Uh, Atimo. You see in the top left, okay. it, uh, it's got a production right, tab. Right. So in the gray, we have Atimo. He's going to be playing as... I don't even know the faction name, so... It's Wildlanders. Oh, uh, sorry, it's... Uh, no, it's Necromas. He's Necromas. So you don't know him either. <laughs> 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 that was impressive. It's already going for some creeping. And on the other side, we got Nimadan also playing as Necromas. Do they go random? Uh, I believe they may have. Next time we pay better attention to that, yeah? Probably a good idea. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> Yeah, in the necro uh, mirror, basically, what you do is you just keep creeping. Uh, you normally don't go for the big middle uh, areas until you have a bunch of uh, bone adepts over here. They are the basic melee infantry unit, so what they do is they're good against bigger ones. And they're relatively fast, so if you make early archers, uh, they're not going to be as good. In which case, uh, if your necro is blowgunners, not actual archers. Right, the creeps are going to give you some food, and then if you capture the middle nodes, uh, that's going to give you some power, which which you can use your global abilities. How much food do you get per one of those? Oh, I'm actually not very sure. Uh, I think it's like 20 food per dino, something like that. Does it matter which what dino it is, or is it 20 no matter what dino it is? Uh, it gets bigger. I think it's 20 for each of these small uh, things. I think a T-Rex drops 100. T-Rex is a badass. Yep. Looks like they I got the exact same unit nose. amount. Yeah. But the green's gonna back off. Yeah. Every time they kill a unit, uh, they spawn a zombie uh, with the perk that they chose. Uh, oh no, actually, uh, no. They didn't... They didn't choose the perk about uh, spawning zombies, which would be every 30 seconds, I believe, they spawn a zombie automatically. Uh, but in this case, it's only the kills that give them zombies. So it's generally, uh, the way you do it is you attack a zombie to get a zombie. <laughs> Interesting little Sorry, difference is like Numidan... Setting, so setting, so you can ah. be casting by yourself for a second. <laughs> That's fine, Yoda. Interesting little difference is that, uh... On berries, Numadan does not have a drop-off point, whereas Atimo does, which optimizes his uh, worker movement a lot. Like, these guys don't have to move to drop off, they just turn around and it's done. Yeah, how do you pronounce that guy's name? Numudan or Numadan? I I just say Numadan. Numadan. I'm not sure if it's right. <laughs> yeah, so uh, Greg's about to have three nodes to none here in a second. It's going to be yeah, pretty useful when it comes to using the uh, support powers. Also, Atom was ahead with the second base. Numidan only sent a single worker to make it. Uh, you can stack workers in this game, so the more workers build a building, the faster it becomes uh, finished. Oh! What is going on? Atomo with the third base already. It's going for heavy eco for later. Yeah. Yeah, off of this, he should be going into the mid game with a lot of elementos probably in tier 2. Uh, we're not seeing yeah, him get it just the, yet. Uh, the, the fire elementos are pretty OP. Oh. You get a bunch of them. They are so good. <laughs> oh my god, big nasties in your stream. That guy comes into my stream all the time. Oh yeah. <laughs> Alright, so Green's actually, uh, so Numidan is actually pat, uh, pushing off a Teemo now, but, uh, Atomo, and, uh, but he doesn't know that Atomo went for three bases. No. Uh, making archers here is a good move because it will make him win the big fights, uh, and both players are making the blowgunners now. 
But yeah, Atom were making three workers at the time, whereas Numadan is stuck with two. The crystal count is getting close to 200, at which point they will be able to go to the next tech tier, unlocking some better units. However, you could technically stay on tier 1 and make uh, the elementals. They just don't get their upgrade with which they can explode. Big Nasty says he put the work on you earlier. True or false? It is true. I <laughs> I lost a game. A rare occurrence. <laughs> <laughs> a rare occurrence. I like that. <laughs> it's good stuff. All right, so it looks like Atimo is actually taking back uh, the nodes now. He still has the, doesn't have the far north one. We also got the settlement upgrade. So at uh, Numadan is actually doing that oh, first. Oh, I gotta turn that off. <laughs> oh, they're both doing it actually now. We are spectating a game right now. Not there's no replays as of yet. Hopefully there will be, but not right now. That'd be nice. So Numidan has an overall army lead, it looks like, but uh, adds him over to support powers, killing off a bunch of zombies. That's going to be nice for him later yeah, on. Yeah, out of those is really important. If you sit in those too long, you're just going to lose everything. Moody says there won't be replays. I personally believe decisions can be turned around. Uh, hopefully the game is successful enough to do so. There goes the Vic yeah. Witch Doctor hut. Uh, that's gonna make the elementals. Uh, it's a building you get in tier 2. Meanwhile, Numadan deciding to stay with the blowgunners. He's upgrading them to the toxic version, uh, which does damage over time after the shot. So, Numadan actually does have a decent population lead now. Uh, Atimo, Atimo is actually uh, blocked. He needs to get something up so he can get more stuff out. The node control is nice for Numidan right now. And yeah, like you're saying, the population. Also, actually, very interesting. Uh, both players chose a Master of Death perk, uh, which gives zombies a lot of regen, and it unlocks the limit to make 18 of them. Uh, whereas normally it would be just 5 zombies. Lots of blowgunners from Numidan. He's pushing in. He's also getting the worker efficiency boost, which, make, which makes him move faster and carry more resources. Uh, less time spent on going places is always nice. So he does have a frost elemental. He can, he's not using it though. It's kind of just sitting there. It's coming in now. This blowgunners will be you. doing pretty good uh, bonus damage against it though. Doesn't live long. Atomo will have to rely on the base here. Uh, yeah. Atomo's leader is about to go down. He's trying to run it through, but his own units are blocking him. Yeah, if that leader dies, uh, <laughs> that's a big Can't problem, no actually. More. And there it is. But he does have to back off because of the home field advantage there. Those arrows coming out of that base. Really nice. I'm curious about how, uh, how we're doing in terms of the... Uh, what was it? Economy. Uh, total workers. Currently, Atomo is ahead by a few. I think Atomo, sta uh, Atomo stabilizes here. He'll be in a pretty good spot. I mean, he got a good economy going. But he keeps getting supply blocked. <laughs> That's a StarCraft term. But, he ke yeah, he literally just keeps getting blocked. He does, uh, he's not keeping up with his uh, population cap. Both players are getting the eruption upgrade for the fire elementals, and quite a few witch doctor has have been made by both. So we should be seeing uh, a big micro battle once that uh, escalates. But Atomo does have way more uh, production for that, so if he can survive long enough uh, against this nice supply lead that Numadan had earlier and the push. But that's turning around now. The supply lead What's has the, become uh, a big deficit. Unit for these guys, isn't it the is it the, uh, the Col or the Colossus or the T Rex? Which one? Which one uh, it's a golem, ones? but it basically looks golem, like that's a right. Colossus. Yeah, it could yeah. have been named that. <laughs> <laughs> it really looks like the Colossus from Age of Mythology, <laughs> almost. A little bit, yeah. It's a, little bit, a little bit fatter. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thick boy. It's like a, it's like a Colossus that's eating McDonald's too much. 
Mully Closet Colossus too. Yeah, awesome. Right. He says this is a Closet Colossus. <laughs> so he, fe he, fe he feels my pain. He understands. Uh, he did, uh, so it is important that uh, Teemo did get his leader back out. So Oof. Um, he'll have that going. That Lava Elemental though. Absolutely ravaging oh, these wow, units. They're very low. A uh, Teemo does have the population lead 133 to 120 right now. I think most of that is in workers, however. It looks like he's got... 84 villagers to uh, 60. <laughs> well, the important thing is that he made the small army. He can just keep replenishing it easily. Every oh, yeah. He, unit, he can just easily buy it back. And if he keeps doing this with the fire elementals to just pick off a huge chunk of blow gunners, uh, he's not going to care about uh, supply too much. I mean, look at this. 140 now to 100. He's fine. Also oh, made yeah. a ton of farms for long-term economy. Uh, still has some berries available. It's interesting to look at a team where he's got like two bases on the minimap, like two just large blobs. <laughs> <laughs> it's easier to defend, I guess, so I, I do like the way he's doing it. He's got like, the, he's in the chokes. He's not like out in the open with his bases and whatnot. Yeah, it's very Age of Empires style, right? You just make yeah. two bases next to each other, give some space between them. A little bit of them. Sim City going <laughs> on, but it's useful. <laughs> That's right. And he's even made a bone tower in addition. What is the pop cap on this game? 140 or something? Uh, 200. 200? Uh, 200. But, but it works okay. a little weird, right? Because you have to make um, the settlements in order to get ahead in supply. So okay. you're locked to 140 unless you get a third base. Gotcha. So you can make 12 houses uh, to begin with. Or sorry, 10 houses to begin with uh, that count. Then you have to expand to get 140. Then you have to expand to get 140. 60, 180, 200, like that. That's why Atomo is making the last base now, because he's on 170. He makes the next house. That's basically the last one that counts. This game looks really good on a 4K monitor. <laughs> yeah, it generally looks very good. Uh, a lot of people like complain about it, because they have the game set too low, and you're like, Oh, uh, yeah, well, that's why. Dude. <laughs> I'm playing it maxed out. This thing's pretty nice. I also noticed that this game does support ultra wide, so you if you do oh. play an ultra wide, you do get a little advantage there, uh, view wise. Sick. Ah, uh, the gaunt smitheries are on the way. Uh for both players actually. Um they're researching their army upgrades. Uh plus one damage, plus armor. So the way armor works in this, game, in this game, is it damage or armor? Uh, which, absolutely which damage. First? Armor is percentile. So if you see an if you see a unit that has like uh, 20 armor, like the Blizzard Elemental here, uh, that means that it blocks 20% of the damage. A lot of workers are getting caught up top. They're getting Ooh, the corner. detonation! Ooh. That was huge. Uh, the way you should harass in this game uh, against Ooh. workers with the fi fire right elementals is you take two. Uh oh. He's got him in a corner. He's got him in a choke. He's pincer maneuvering him. He's even <laughs> going in with the uh, frost elementals to slow him down. That's going to make yeah. sure that they can't kite. Yeah, Timo is maxed out right now. 200, 200. He is just going hard. This is not looking good. Oh, no. Now, Atomo is doing so well this game, and Numidan is suddenly on the back foot. He's got quite a bit of Numidan resources, was doing though. Good for a while. And then yeah. That engagement, bad. Two major group of elementals now from Atomo uh, can do anything he wants, basically. He could just go to the bottom side here and take out those workers. Uh, he could kill all the farms. Atimo loves his uh, his villagers, let me tell you. Yep. <laughs> he went up to 93, that's crazy. But that just means that he can go to tier 3 now, which he just started. Is there a limit to the amount of settlements you can make? I know there's a limit to your population, but can you keep making settlements? No, there's a limit of 4. Ah, okay. But there isn't a limit to the trade cards. Uh, you can make as many trade buildings as you want. Uh, so yeah. eventually you'll be running out of the crystals on the map, right? But there's no farm-like so building for that. You need the caravans, mm -hmm. yep. So it looks like even though he's got the army advantage, that defense advantage looks like it was just a little too much and he doesn't want to fight into that like that. Yeah, you'll need to do some economic damage here. He's got a lot of fire elementals. There's always be some detonations going off. Oh, nope, nope, never mind. 
Yeah, Atimo doesn't seem like he quite wants to commit yet. Uh, Numidan doing a good job of defending so far. Considering how far back he was. Oh, uh, actually, it ago. looks like he's got better upgrades. He, he's gotten the ranged upgrades, whereas Atom is only researching them now. But Numidan's got plus three. Uh, Atom only caught up now with also plus three. Oh, what? It looks like the upgrade gives him plus three. Oh, huge detonation oh, though from Atimo. Oh, <laughs> basically deleted everything. The suicide grunt slash baneling attack. <laughs> Except these don't die, right? <laughs> Even better. In the end, surprisingly enough though, both players lose their entire army. Yeah, but Atimo's gonna literally repop this in seconds. I'm calling that. Yeah, he's far ahead in population for sure. Look how much food he has. Enough. <laughs> <laughs> Five <laughs> thousand. <laughs> <laughs> he's good for today, I think. I wanna see some big... So why, are people not making the golems because they're not good? Or like, what's the deal with that? No, they're actually really good. Uh, I'm surprised not, that they're not, not making any. it. Uh, Atom has made a bunch of Gone Totems to get more power. Uh, he does not have much crystal, that's why he's, I suppose, making crystal uh, mines, yeah, which yeah, are the uh, trade crystal buildings. Thing. He just started uh, harvesting those crystals now in the middle. I guess he got booted off of there a little while ago, but now he's free to harvest them. And if yeah. he can harvest all those, it would be very useful, but I don't think Atimo is going to let him. Neither player has gone up to the T-Rexes in the corner though. Uh, Atimo actually going in and killing it with freaking yeah. villagers. That's crazy. Yep. <laughs> and you know what? They're strong enough to actually do it. Just uh, hammering them. That's so funny. <laughs> I don't see uh, New uh, Numidan actually getting a chance to go for the T-Rexes for a while. Yeah. He definitely doesn't have the villager count up there to do it and his army can't leave. Brokers are better than zombies, says Eerie. That's probably yeah, not false. <laughs> <laughs> Even if you get the upgrades for the zombies, um, the workers can get the militia upgrade. Has that been done? I don't know. I, I think I'm actually not. surprised that after that, like I said earlier, that, that initial attack, uh, Numidan has somehow bullied a team, uh, Adamo back to his base, which doesn't make any sense to me. No. No, it really I mean, doesn't. So uh, he still isn't even close. He's not 40, still 40 population down. Yeah, because he didn't make a fourth settlement. Is that right? I, I, I can see. So. That's two. He's gotta get it Where's some the point. third? Where's the third settlement? Am I blind? You're probably blind. I, you know, I can uh, mail you some glasses, but it'd be really heavy shipping cost. Ah, shit. <laughs> <laughs> it seems he's only made two settlements, dude. That's probably part of the problem. He's going after the T-Rexes himself now with the workers. Ouch. He's gonna, uh, if, if Animo senses this, it's not going to be good. No. Uh-oh, he's, he's, he's pushing a little bit. It's funny how they've both chosen the exact same perks uh, throughout the game. Yeah. Uh, Numidan is still making uh, bone adapts and units like that instead Look, of he's elementals. The army. He's confused. He's like, Where, what's going on? Yeah. He's going to come in here. They're both going like towards each other, just though. They're just in time to defend, but he's still going to lose some stuff here. Oh, he wasted that ability. That's unfortunate. Yeah. You know what? Especially yeah. because he's actually kind of poor on power. Atimo's made a ton of uh, totems that generate power for him. So even though he has the map control, he actually doesn't need that too much. And now he's going to blast right, through this. He's gonna kill oh, that's his farms. That was a good heavy portion of his farm. He's got wow. one on south, but... That was really painful. Uh, oh, he got to... At least he dodged that without getting... Without losing too much. Oh my god, he's, he's going, going after the though. workers. Don't go back through it. There's 32 oh, workers. Walking. If he detonates uh, on these workers, all of them will uh, die. No. Run. Okay, he's Run. going for it. No? He decided uh, he doesn't need to. Oh god. <laughs> That's bad. He's going after the army instead with the fire elementals. And all the workers have been killed here. He's, got, he's, he's really low on workers now. Interestingly enough, if you look at the population total, I mean, army-wise, he's not that far behind. 
Well, now he is. Never mind. Now, now he, he now is. He is. <laughs> but uh, he, he can only make bone adapts, so, so Numidan is going to resign yeah. this one. There and it that's is. it. Yeah, in the end, uh, this is how many workers were lost. Oh my god. Oh, is about to go back into the custom game? Yep. Gotcha. What's it going to be called again? Uh, Atma will be hosting, I think. Uh, gotcha, gotcha. And the loser will be choosing the next map. Also, guys, any donations during this will go to the show match, at least on my side. Uh, we're starting like on 10 viewers. bucks. I don't think I'm getting anything. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> I didn't advertise or anything. That's a point for Atmo. This is just practice for me. I'm gonna host myself. <laughs> so big three v three map, resource type high. Aww. Yeah, <laughs> we can change all that in the lobby anyway. <laughs> so why don't why don't people play with the uh, score on? Is that like a bad thing or what? Uh, it basically is an indication of um, of how well you're doing. So people, you just don't like that on or what? Uh, yeah. Yeah, basically it's like free scouting info. And? I was joking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so Numidan is actually, it looks like he's going random. Uh, Atimo's picked Wildlanders. Yeah. The oh, overlay is so pretty high because BF2K oh, yeah, made it. That. Look at you. <laughs> Some next level shit. <laughs> he has to go and check the map name. Of course. New RTS syndrome. My phone's dead, so I'm gonna plug it in. Uh, it's Yoda from Halo Wars. He's co casting here. Any 2v2 map. Who is co-commentator? The one and only Yodesla. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about who I am. Just know that I'm here. That's right. Thanks a lot, Muli. Is he Master Yoda? That's right. Master Yoda, that is correct. Actually, that is incorrect. It is Grand Master Yoda. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is, right. I think this map might not be in the pool. Uh, but anyway, we'll allow it. Two maximum players, so that should Obi make Wan it standard size. <laughs> yeah. I gotta set up my controller so I can... Oh my, do you know how awesome it is to... Even on PC, using a controller to spectate with an analog stick. It's so nice. Yeah, because you can zoom around easily, right? Yeah, and you don't have to use, you want that clickety clackety of the arrow keys. I know <laughs> you can use the middle mouse button to uh, obviously scroll around, but it's just so much easier. Yeah, I, I like the follow the function. Like, does this game have that? Uh huh. Oh, okay. Yeah, you know. do Control Shift F or whatever the basic. Oh, that's way too much. I, I'm not. I I said it to. Con I think that's my custom one. You lost me after Control. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure you can set a single hotkey because it's a... Uh... Do I hit play? Why do I have a play? Oh, I, I think it's because we have to... What? What's going? I already hit not... I already hit ready. What's going on? Did you not hit ready or what? I have to start the game? How, how is play. this supposed to work? It crashed the game when I hit play. What the hell? <laughs> oh wow, you're breaking up. This is weird. Uh, 
Okay, I'm gonna rehost this. Yeah, I can hear you. Can you hear me? A little laggy. Ooh. I I'm gonna call you back. <laughs> so, how's this? Hello? Ah, rip. Is it fixed? I think so. Is okay, it? I can't find the lobby. Did it start or something? No, no, no. I'm making a new one. Like what happened with that? It was weird. I don't know. I it bugged play. that. Like I wasn't even the host, but I clicked play, and my game's like, nope, can't do that. <laughs> it's straight yeah. kick me out. <laughs> yeah, because it's got a player limit of two, right? So, so it bugged out. I don't know. Maybe so some developers are watching, so we'll have to get it fixed eventually, right? Yo, hey, Carnage, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> I know you're out there. I can smell you. You may not be at home at this point. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. It's all a ruse. <sighs> He's offline. It's just a play, dude. Don't worry about it. He's actually online. You just can't see it. <laughs> don't fool you like that. Uh, I'm unable to start the game. Naka, why do you keep breaking stuff? How many... Is you have maximum players set to two still. Oh, it's at, it's at four now. I, I can keep changing it. It's not going to make it work. Uh, so you broke it is what you're saying. I think the players have to host. That may be it. That may be it. Hopefully they get that fixed though. That's kind of bad. That is kind of bad. For that kind of this kind of thing, usually the players are not the hosts. Yeah, usually the caster <laughs> organizes. <laughs> yeah. Can you, that thousand dollar tournament coming up. Can you imagine that? Um, we're gonna need one of you to host and then invite us, please. Yep. <laughs> well, luckily there's a lobby, right? So you can see when they host. Yeah. A Timo, I got it. A demo. Oh my god, the screen just roared at me. See, now I, okay, now I got the ready. I'm ready to go. Yeah. See what happens. So this was illegal, basically. You can't... Uh, <laughs> it's illegal. <laughs> can't host. A demo. And watch. He said Timo cancer. <laughs> <laughs> um. Bada dump. Oh, that works. Starting. Here we go. Look at that. That was all part of the plan, though. <laughs> I didn't see their factions again. Neither did you. No, but it's this played <laughs> in the game. <laughs> I know neither of us was looking. <laughs> Damn it. Well, on Desert Flower here, playing in the... Is, uh, map. is this pink? As the Wildlanders, this is Atimel. Wow. Interesting. The way this is set up. All right, well, in the green, uh, we do have uh, Numadan playing as... Uh, what is their name? These are actually the faction that I use, and I don't even know their name. The Vifara. Nafara. Alright. Vifara. Vifara. That's right. Yes. Oh my god, these are the Making coolest. some raptors. I love this factions. I cannot even describe to you how much I love this. It's like Zerg attack bikes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so good. This map is weird. Yeah, it's so big. It's just strange. Even the placements are like of the players. <laughs> well, Numadan did ask for any 2v2 maps, so he was happy with it. Uh, maybe he did pick with Farah. I'm not sure if he did. Anyhow, um, both of the players have started with the barracks building. That's generally speaking how it goes. Uh, Atimo, yet again, putting the storage hut between the berries to optimize uh, is resource gathering. 
that's some next level stuff. That's what separates the, the boys from the men right there. That's right. Now, one big difference here is that the Wildlanders can kill the creep dinos, right? So they can get some food from that. The Vifaro can't, but they can capture for free, uh, even if there's enough, wild dinos. Um, what I like to do, actually, is I'll actually try to find the army. I know that I'm not good at this game yet, but what I like to do is wait for, as soon as I see them actually going for that and attacking the wild dinos, I actually use that to my advantage and I attack them right then. Yeah. That way I've got them helping me as well. And you know and what? The sage, the sage actually has a skill that can convert dinos to your side. Uh, uh, I like to, I like rushing a T-Rex. <laughs> yeah, uh, so so the the power cost of that is equal to the health of the unit. But if the other guy is actually attacking the dinos and the health is low, you can just steal it and deny the food. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, so it's the current HP of the dino, not the total. I did yeah, yeah current HP. Interesting. So that's a very so cool little trick. Actually, if one does get weak, yeah, you can take it. And then because that faction has a lot of regeneration, you can get it right back up. Yeah, yeah, you got all these nodes, right? Like, like Numadan right now has 61 power already, and yep. climbing, he's got three nodes, and you could get a fourth one very easily if he just sends a raptor, which is basically the fastest unit in the game. I locked it as the fastest, I'm pretty sure. It's amazing. I love these units. They're so yep. cool. He's about to get bullied, though. Two raptors can't hold this. Oh Where no, but the, the settlement down. can. And you know yeah. what? Uh, actually, a very interesting thing about the Vifara is that the workers have a ranged attack. So they can uh, camp behind the raptors and put yep. out some major damage. Looks like the raptors are going to go around look for me to go for a little bit of an attack here. My voice is too loud. Sorry, I'm reducing it. <laughs> Naka, you're too loud. Reduce yourself. Damn it. I've reduced myself to less than I once was. <laughs> Dilophosaurus are being made. They're basically just like the raptors in terms of movement speed. Uh, but they're range. I think range. they're 0.5 less. No worries. Thanks for the feedback. If there's any feedback about uh, anything like that, just let, let me know. I can quickly fix it. Or don't tell them. It'll never get fixed. Yeah, that's also an option. Uh, <laughs> many people like to do that. Uh, look, we got actually an attack here coming right to this, uh, this little gather spot. And these raptors are going to get on top of this. Atomo already getting the third base. He really likes to make bases. He likes it. I mean, it, it's not bad because in this meta, as soon as, the way I feel is that early game, you can't mess with bases. You really can't. No. Absolutely There's not. So, no do it. just making it with a ton of workers is gonna complete it really fast, and there's really not I mean, much you can it. do what, about what it. What can you do to harass these workers? There's really nothing. Nothing cost effectively. No. No, absolutely nothing. Uh, what you can do is deny the base. Uh, if you happen to be there, if you happen to come yeah, you across have to be it. There. I mean, they, they build pretty quick, though. That's the they, thing. Exactly. Exactly. But as they build, they are weak, uh, and at that time, you can kill them. But yeah, it's a very limited window, like you're saying. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm think about it. This map is so big. Like, you're not going to be able to deny them all. Perfect map to, map to play this way. Our fire player it, already has expanded. See, I too. thought about that, and it's true. It, getting them up, but defending them is going to be harder because of the size of the map. Once you branch out more north and more north, you're going to have a really large range to cover, mm -hmm. and your opponent does have faster stuff, so you're going to be trying to defend all over the map with a slower army. Long term, it will change around for sure. Look at uh, those two T Rexes in the corner right there. Those are terrifying. I love them. Bird base done for Numidan, and he's going for tier 2 as well. It's pretty far out for Atomil, though. Yeah, he likes to. He, he'll, 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 <laughs> his economy will boom uh, later. That's kind of like how I've seen him play so far. Yeah, what's interesting is that he's still queuing the workers and only now starting the settlement upgrade, even though he had. Uh, the resources for it for a long time. Yeah. I'd like to see a few stables being thrown down in this interim. Uh, he certainly I has the think... resources. Yeah, I don't think at any point during this game or last game, a team has been down in food. Not no. once at any time ever. Oh, he's uh, <laughs> making so sure that his economy is running well. But nine nests out of Nimadan, his production is going to go crazy right Why? now. Why? I just saw Look him how nice queue up a bunch of stuff. Look at that. Yep. 
And he's getting both upgrades at the same time. So his Raptors and Dilophosaurus are going to get their uh, unique upgrades momentarily. Yep. Are you able to tell which uh, passives they go for? Um, you see under the name those icons, not the loading ones, but uh, the pa the, the growth and yeah, there you pack go. leader in that. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That that's the passives that they picked. Numidan supply, holy shit, going up to 140. Yep. Oh my god, when he attacks, He's got a as he upgrades it. Yeah, that's gonna be really strong. Uh, Triceratops Rider is coming out of Atimo, and he's making Look quite a few stables. Look at that ball of dinosaurs right there. Yeah. Yeah, the Triceratops Riders are gonna have to uh, somehow hold against this. Luckily for Atimo, he does have a watchtower uh, at his frontal base, so if that was attacked, I don't Something know if the Raptors get a surround on it, they're gonna kill that watchtower really quickly, in my experience. Yeah. The workers have the ability to repair it though, but I don't think they can. That's not gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, actually, Atom will not even looking, and he's gonna lose most of these workers dropping really, really fast. Numidan absolutely massacring everything, going up to 180 supply. And making he's more just, and more units. I don't think a team of our, our Atomo had any idea what to do here. <laughs> like these, oh, he's throwing a meteor! Whoa! Good meteor, good meteor. Everything but he still has a good up. population. Well, bear in mind, he's only got uh, the he's basic raptors now, right? Yeah. There's no more Dilophosaurus, basically. Most of them got deleted. No, uh, those so... raptors aren't basic. Those are upgraded. Yeah. Yeah, I meant to. Sorry, they're the melee guys only. So, uh, if Atomo can regroup, then he may be able to hold an attack. But you have to be super careful there. This was... Uh... He's got double the population, like actually double. Another meteor. Know what Timo can do. He's gonna have Animo. resources for one more meteor. That's like his only choice at this point. He's uh, gonna get the best meteor ever. Yep. And the armor seems too spread out for it to matter. See, I like how he's inside of his own structures here, fighting the raptors. The raptors are good only if they can get his surround. But the Dilophosaurus have pretty decent ranged attacks, so they're yes, not they gonna do. need that. And Atomo is still, still struggling here. Uh, only Go on 55 right power. In the middle, it wouldn't be that bad. Might be able to get something. He can't afford it right now, unfortunately. He's slowly yeah. rising in power. He's got three nodes at the moment, which is pretty good. But this line of death coming out of Numidan is just brutal. <laughs> How many? Like you can just see it on the mini map. It's just trickling in, <laughs> like a faucet. Yeah, he, he's only got the nine uh, production buildings, but it's more than enough here. And the main base of Atimo is getting ravaged, destroyed now. It's trying just to so cool make watching stuff. raptors and triceratops and saber tooths fighting each other. This is great. <laughs> My god, these raptors and Dilophosaurus are so strong. He's just going to clean this whole base. I mean, he, I mean, I see what uh, Animo is doing, but he has to defend this. I mean, he can't lose this base. No. His only option is the Meteor, really. And it's got to be an amazing one. And the army is so split up that even if you did hit a perfect Meteor, I don't think it's going to matter. Yeah, Numidon is doing a very good job of spreading them out. Doesn't want to get hit by that. Behind all this, he's gotten the worker efficiency boost upgrades, so his Visps are uh, doing a bit better at gathering. And, and you know what? Oh, he's got... There was the media actually, right there, uh, that's it. Oh my god. I think god. it's going to be it. He missed completely. I, I think that... Uh, that that probably seals the deal. Um, Atimo is going to completely get supply blocked as all of his houses are oh, being yeah. destroyed. Even the Gonesmithery. Going down. You really, really need to scout something like this so you can make a lot of warriors and archers. Uh, but Atimo will have to resign. Numidan equalizing the series. This was gonna be one one. Mm, looks like the post game income is still broken. Yeah, it's just pretty obvious who was leading. If you look at the army population tab, oh my goodness. 
177 units trained by Numidan and only 39 for Atimo. I feel like a little biased because I just love watching raptors yeah. attack stuff. <laughs> like I really do. It's so cool watching them just run around the map. Just mauling things. I like the uh, vast array of colors you can pick in this game. Not that that's relevant, but I really <laughs> like it. <laughs> it's fun, right? I mean, you can just go pink to troll people. And it's not even that. Um, I feel like, at least in some other games that I've played, a, your color between you and your friends and other top players kind of becomes like an identity for you. A lot of players do pick one particular color throughout the, their span of time on a game. Uh, for me, it's irrelevant because I like red. So like, <laughs> red's in every game anyway. Yeah. yeah, for me, it's between <laughs> red and blue. Either of them are fine. I I'm just such a vanilla guy in this. <laughs> Very rarely I would pick, like, uh, yellow. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Uh, uh, Adamo picking Vithra. He, he's like, oh, I got the Raptors now. <laughs> yeah, Numidan is, however, selecting random. So Ooh, we're not no, going to repeat no, no. maps, and next up we got over the Overlook as our map oh, choice. They, they're switching it up on me here. Not Numidan's going Vithra, and uh, Atima's actually going oh, back yeah. to Wildlanders. Nope, you're going random. Make up your mind. I don't think they want to make up their mind. <laughs> They'll confuse each other and us. Wait. Wait for what? <laughs> uh, they have to tell us what they're going to pick. Apparently. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> they figured it out, guys. It's gonna be okay. Vithra Mir. So, Raptors for days. I exactly. So for what I, in my games and in games I've watched, in this matchup, if you tech up first, you die. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the way I've looked at it. I mean, that's the exactly what it you is. You don't have the Raptor count of your opponent. It's over. Yeah, especially if uh, you're actually on top of each other the whole time. Mm -hmm. And this is a pretty, I mean, decently sized, but not very big. So uh, I do feel like uh, Tech One's going to be very potent here. Heck yes. Well, in the pink, this is Atimo playing as Vithara. And in the blue, we have Numidan playing as Vithara. Putting all of his workers on a bush. So he's going hard into food. Oh, yeah. They meet in the middle oh, look as at the well. Leaders. Look at this. We got a real fight going on. The first Raptor, so I was still gonna join in here, and we're just gonna see a micro battle from here on out. Uh, very important to keep alive your Raptors. So both players hey, obviously did get there first, the though. Region. Oh, yeah, oh, actually getting more Raptor? hits. Numidan's uh, Raptor is way healthier, so mm -hmm. one of them will have to disengage here. Oh, now there's one Raptor's weak. <laughs> These early engagements are important. Yeah, you gotta be careful whether your uh, attack moving or. Or just right clicking the target because if it goes the wrong way attacking the high hp unit might result in you losing uh so it looks like a new gonna be like okay that's cool you can have the one note i'm gonna take both on the sides that's right <laughs> Good strategy. It's going to be important for Numidan to pick up some crystals, otherwise he's not going to be able to make a second nest in time. But actually, Atimo is having the same problem. He's got no one on crystal. Okay, he just <laughs> he's put got one, one now, yep. Very yep. good. Actually, uh, Numidan as well, at the same time. Pretty mirrored up. They finished each other's sandwiches. They did. They each ate had the bread, then they each ate each other's crust. I think that's how that worked. <laughs> Thanks for the follow there, Netfoot. Dum bum bum ba dum bum 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 bum. Ooh, there's a lot of uh, workers on Crystal actually. From Atomo. Still just the one uh, for Numidan making wow, a this second game is actually treehouse. so neck and neck. This is crazy. Oh, yeah, they're gonna be super equal for a long time until we get a big engage. 
at which point they still might come out even. Um, uh, Adamo actually has got the three nodes. nodes now, so yeah. That's right. And you can see that reflecting the power very, very quick. We might be seeing an engagement at some point. Is he going to go into an attack? Mm, not sure it's worth it. <laughs> <laughs> it. It would be very, very difficult to make anything happen. Maybe he can pick off a nest, but not at this raptor count. I don't know if attacking here into a turret or the base, whatever you want to call it, is a good yeah. idea. Yeah, <laughs> yeah basically, lost a raptor for five it. shots and you lose the raptor, so you don't want to do that, I think. And also being a home field advantage, you're going to have more raptors because you're obviously closer to your nest. That's right. Numidan's already ahead uh, in the supply by seven, so that's pretty good. Uh, that's because he's got the two nests uh, producing for longer than Atomil does. Yep. But Adamo maintaining some nice map control, so when it comes to power usage, he will be doing better there. Uh, both players need to soon think about expanding to the next berry location. Should be seeing some tornadoes here in the fights. Engagement. Here we go. Where's the tornadoes? Unfortunately, I don't like that New End using his leader on that leader because um, I feel like you'd be better off attacking the raptors one at a time and picking them off. Well, he's killed a lot of raptors already, he so... He might get the leader now. He's... He should be able to, right? If he goes for a surround, this should be possible, I think. You have to get in front of it, and then, yeah, there he goes. He's trying to do it right now. It's very, very difficult in this game, though. Units are really slippery. Home field advantage about to take place here, though. Some more Raptors are going to be coming in reinforcements. That leader is... Oh, yeah, now he's going to be... Yeah, now he's going to have to turn around. But he's Before got more reinforcements of his own coming in. A lot more reinforcements, actually. Look at the little pack coming. Yeah. There's actually no RTS race I can think of, Yoda, that's producing faster than the Vifara. I think the workers have like an <laughs> 8 or 9 second production time. It's crazy. And that's similar for the Raptors. I think they're like 14 yeah, seconds. The, uh, the, uh, I'm sorry, the Vithra had chat to use their the, uh, units to... to uh, they actually go into their own structures, so... They do technically need more workers, but... Definitely. But what it means is it's harder to do it. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta stay on top of that thing. And then the raptors are fast in addition. It's not easy to play with Farah, but they are very powerful. You gotta be on top of your army at all times or you can just lose it. Kind of papery. Except for their elephants, they're pretty tanky. Oh yeah. Well, the workers have to go <laughs> the back there, but they workers got... just turns into 20 workers. That's so funny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Atimo could technically hold this if he pulls the workers uh, to help here. Go on, pull the grills. <laughs> pull the grills. <laughs> uh, they are female. The voice actors are. Okay. <laughs> Why is he using the workers though? I don't know. There we go. Now he is. Oh, the slow and tangle thing. Oh my god, that's so effective there. But the workers adding the DPS is actually turning the fight around quite hard. He's he's attacking the leader though. He's not. But he does get the win. He I mean he, he takes it over. More. Oh, here comes a bunch of reinforcements though. Uh oh. But Atimo does have more production buildings, so he's actually gonna be fine. At least he's had them for a while longer. Neither player gotta getting pull, expansion. Pull the obviously. grills again. Pull the grills. <laughs> <laughs> Taking out the resource well is actually pretty smart, but now the workers will be auto attacking here. The leader is getting very, very low. Will die oh, here. I think. It's gonna die. Yeah, he's gonna uh, pick it off. Yeah, there got we go. It. He's gonna have to rebuild that. I don't know if he can rebuild that. Can he? He doesn't have the uh, the crystal for that. He Good. It's just very expensive. Yeah, it's probably better to go tier two than to do that. Isn't it a hundred crystal to get it? Yeah, and power. It's also costing yeah, power. You don't, you don't have that. Maybe you no, don't have no, no, that right no. Now. The best course of action generally is to go tier two and upgrade your raptors and keep making raptors. <laughs> uh, Numidan does have the raptor count, but uh, that leader DPS may be useful here. But yeah, that raptor surround is just way too good. Only Numidan will be able to cast a tornado in the next round, so he's probably waiting for uh, for his power to be high enough. And mm -hmm. you know what? He could also be thinking about where the workers are. So he's yeah, but he's, not he's here. going for a beeline straight toward him. And he's going to kill that again. Workers actually going to help defend this time. 
Okay, that is gonna be too much, so uh, Numidan will have to be patient. Uh, he's got quite a few workers on crystals, so he should be able to go to the next act here soon. He just needs to save up a bit of power. Yeah, he's cause... 90 out of 90. He's he's sitting pretty right now. Yeah, 90 to 60, so that's really good news for Numidan. That's so much. Look how many raptors he has. Oh my god. Wow. That is actually crazy. That's 26 work. Uh, that's 26 uh, raptors versus 17. Even the workers can turn that around. There's 16 no. workers there, but I don't think that's enough. Yeah, it means he's got to pull back. He's going to lose that. And that his economy is just about to... Yeah, he's got no economy now. Yeah, taking out the drop-off point means that these guys would have to go all the way back to the settlement, which is just way too far away. Atomo actually cannot afford a drop-off point right now. Oh my he's God. even made a treehouse. Big mistake. Okay, he did throw down the uh, resource well in the end. Probably yep. cancelling some production. Oh my god! That surround is crazy! <laughs> Atomo taps yeah. out immediately. That's an immediate tap out. Yeah, story of this game basically just was right here in the army population. <laughs> Numidan was ahead for so long and he just kept uh, capitalizing on his advantage until it snowballed out of control. It is just like Roach versus Roach. That's correct. <laughs> so let's give a point to Numidan here in the scoreboard. And Atimo will be choosing a map again. Looks like next up is uh, Meteor. I like this map. It's a very nice the map. Middle's cool. Let's see what they're gonna pick. Like Wildlanders for Atmo. Random for Nimadan. I'm pretty sure he'll change that. Yeah, that's gonna be it. Let's go. Wildlanders versus random. It is a loud map. It is a loud map. I've reduced <laughs> my uh, background volume to like 5%. Do recommend. <laughs> Do recommend. <laughs> Yeah, so anyway, uh, in the pink, this is the Vodlander player, Atimo. And in the blue, we have Numidan playing as... Who is this? What's their name? Necromancer? Uh, Necromas. Yes, ne Necromas. That's what yep. it is. Yeah, it was close. Yeah, interesting discussion about mirror matches, but generally uh, you go for very similar compositions. Even if it's not spamming one unit, you usually end up at mirrored compositions in mirrored matches. Yep. It's very rare uh, that you got a big stylistic difference in any RTS. Like, you could look at um, maybe StarCraft, I suppose, where you got the uh, bio tank uh, TVT versus maybe mech. Even that is rare. Uh, or Ling Bane Muta against Roaches in ZVZ. Yeah, Adamo going straight down the guts for the uh, trikes here, while uh, Numidan's actually going along the sides, picking off the lesser dinos. I feel like Numidan's got a bigger army. He's got those zombies. Yeah, it's actually very difficult for Wildlanders to keep up in the very first fight uh, until they get a bigger count. Um, so their warriors are better than the uh, bone adapts of Necromas, but they don't have zombies, obviously, right? So that's a big difference maker. And every time you kill a unit, you get another zombie. So yep. that's really brutal. Atomo, uh, uh, sorry, Numidan likes this passive generation of power points. Yes, uh, he does. Pick that perk. Mr. Keeling for Atimo, so he gets his unit regen. It's actually difficult to go from the center of the map to the other 
uh, side yeah, because the T Rex is the T -Rex is <laughs> aggro. Yeah. <laughs> T-Rexes are pretty good. I hope we get to see some late game stuff at some point with a series. Some uh, big units. Yeah, I really hope so. I think this is the map to do it. Um, it's just so hard to do a straight up attack here. But I think it should be happening here. Uh, one thing I personally like to do is what uh, Numidan is going for now. Um, killing these weak dinos I think is way easier than going for the big ones you get less yep. losses and you get more food from it faster so I like to go there first personally but he did nicely with picking off a warrior hey Numidan picked up on the storage pit uh, trick with the with the berries yep. nice <laughs> there we go I gotta tell you something. Playing Stop. this game in 4K on the computer is gonna make it really difficult for me to play back on Xbox. No <laughs> care. Well, 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 maybe your request of uh, that getting cool controller for support. Xbox One X would be good too. Or that. But, or controller support. Yes, that'd be good. But maybe they said it's very seriously. unlikely. They said it would take like a month of work. What? Yeah, that's what they told me. Oh no. That sucks. I try suck. to do it myself, but um, the program I use, but like, I would need 12 combo buttons in order to, uh, oh, no. for the, just the structures alone, and that's just crazy. It's more than StarCraft. Yeah. It's nuts. Yeah, you wouldn't be enjoying that. Yeah, so, uh, Numidan taking a really early lead here, uh, especially in the nodes. He's doing a really good job. I feel like he's got a really strong map presence. Wow. So many nodes controlled by Nimadan here. He's awesome already got stuff. two, uh, he's got a settlement and he's got a uh, supply depot, whatever you want to call it out there by the berries. So he's gathering from multiple places at once as well. That is something I like. Uh, not so much in the early game, but in the mid game when you got all these splash damage and faster units. Uh, basically, spreading your workers out just minimizes the amount of damage you can take in one place. Uh, third settlement coming up from Numidan, as well as Atomo. They're really on top of it. You know what? I actually haven't seen Atomo use the uh, gathering boosting skill. Yeah, I don't think he likes that. I think he likes his aggressive powers. Yeah. Super weird, because... Um, the wild letters are supposed to be all about that, right? Mm -hmm. He's adding some archers now. Um, so that will have to be matched by Nimadan. He's just starting to make blowgunners. So yeah, you basically can't engage uh, once archers are starting to shoot at your infantry because they deal like 50% bonus damage. So that's rough stuff. Oh, Beastie Cutie is here. Welcome. Hope you can stream this soon as well. It's a really good game. It's a wonderful game. Yeah, seriously, it's got the whole package except replays. That's my only single complaint, but yeah, this is the best RTS person. that's come out for a very In long a time. Yes, it is. Yeah. Easily the best in the RTS ever. When is the tournament for this? Um. They said the second week after release, so that should be the 14th or something. Okay. There's a weekend there. Yeah, something like that. So I gotta get my controller set up by then, I got you. Yeah. <laughs> and you gotta get into the top 16 with it, so... Oh, that's no problem. I'll get to the no top problem. one. Oh! <laughs> Easy peasy lemon squeezy, man. Show these PC boys what's up. They choose the participants on the 11th, is what uh, Dieter oh, the says 11th, there. Okay. Wait, this base is so unprotected right now. Uh, maybe you could have damaged it a bit more. The repairing is actually think, relatively he didn't, he didn't slow want to now. fight it underneath. Uh, obviously, it's going to take. He's going to take a lot of damage from the base, and then the army catching up. I don't think he wanted to risk it. He, he feels comfortable. I think where he's at, he's got his three nodes. I just uh, meant a few archer shots, you know, they were already at the edge of the range, so... Yeah. You can hurt it a bit more. Uh, repair is slow. 
so you can later take it out. Uh, I would like to see tier 2 by Atomos soon. Numid that already has reached it, so he can uh, start making elementals. He's already got two Witch Doctor huts. Um, getting eruption before any units, actually. And um, what's that? Free burial grounds? Is that it? From just the visual yeah. alone, I feel like uh, um, Atimo's, Atimo's army is stronger and bigger than uh, Numidans. I feel like they engaged. Well, if you look at the win. supply, <laughs> it don't <laughs> lie. <laughs> supply don't lie. <laughs> and his map control is beautiful now, taking back all the four nodes. By the way, guys, if you're new and looking to is improve he your is map he control... Is the needle here right now and hit this base? Oh, well, if you could take oh. out all these farms, that could be actually huge. Um, oh Numidan would have to cancel gonna, them all. Kill so many. I don't oh, think he's canceling no. them. That is actually brutal. That's, That's a lot disgusting. of economic damage. <laughs> and he's just gonna run away. Oh, he's gonna fight. He's gonna fight. I don't think Numidan wants to fight this until he has the elementals with their explodey attack. <laughs> Ask the questions, beast. Ask them. Do it. That doesn't bother anyone. I think. People are happy you're asking questions. <laughs> Worker food boost out of Nimadan. That's you actually an upgrade that we haven't that, seen in a while. I'm going to be bothered if you don't ask questions. <laughs> Do I have the answers? Probably not. Somebody does, but I don't. Yeah, I'm sure uh, Carnage there <laughs> can take care of things together with Striker and Eerie. Yeah. Or three top players, so... Yeah, hey, is the just workers going hard. <laughs> this is just bad. So these guys are actually pretty similar in skill, I think, especially after these games. They're... Yeah, it's no joke that they're after each other in the ladder. Yeah. It's actually legit. Oh, meteor uh, doesn't mm. actually kill anything. Just the one unit. It was Nothing cool major. Looking, though. It was cool looking. <laughs> but he's about to get pinched here. Uh, Numidan's about to lose a lot, I think. Power usage certainly helps out Numidan, but not nearly enough, and his eruption hasn't yeah, finished up. He's just up. getting surrounded. It's gonna be another oh, meteor as yeah, well. He's gonna move. Meanwhile, the archers are focus firing Char, and I think he's gonna go down here. Maybe, maybe, just maybe, uh, the lava elementals can turn around and do some damage. Oh my god. Purge Trooper, the game is out. definitely worth the money, man. It's not even like a full price game, but you get everything. It's, it's a great game. If you like RTS, you should definitely pick this up. It's the best one in a long time. It should be 25 bucks, not 31. I guess it depends. I mean, maybe like Canadian or something. I think it depends on where you live. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But in US dollars, it's like 25. It's yeah, an absolute 25, steal. 24 I think. It is, it really is. I don't know how, but Numidan has held that off and he's repopping. Really but <laughs> I mean, he's lost a lot of workers in the process. He's got fire elementals now. These are gonna be useful. Yeah, suddenly the army sophistication completely turned around, but stables are being made here by Atomo. And once he gets enough uh, Triceratops riders, they're actually gonna be really, really strong against the lava elementals. We're gonna have to see some uh, ice elementals now to counter those. Oh no, he's getting caught. His little base he was trying to make over here has been Ooh. detected. <laughs> and especially <laughs> if later. Char dies again. That's a lot of costs there I guess, I guess he's not going to chase it. He's just going to kill the base, which is, I guess, worth it. It is a good choice. There's also a bunch of finished farms here. Uh, but is can he, gonna, he actually get away? Is the same thing going to happen again? He's going to run away again, and this army is going to push him off. <laughs> This happened like, what was this, like five minutes ago, this exact same scenario happened. Well, there's actually a lot of lava elementals here, so if they connect with the archers, that could be really brutal. Uh, two of them yeah, getting he's activated one there. Yeah, shotting these archers. Oh, Meteor! Oh, oh he splits Beautiful out of it, though. Split. split. Great split. Killing a lot of archers, though. Basically, there's nothing left for Animo. Uh, the population entirely turned around here. He can even get those workers, this is crazy. 
I have no idea how he's doing this right now. It's the lava elementals, man. They're so good. Actually, you think about it, their population is actually really close. But here's the thing: uh, Numidan's got a lot bigger army, like army supply. Yeah, like he's got a, a lot fewer workers. But if he can push mm -hmm. in here right now and do some more damage, if he backs uh, he off, can it's definitely gonna be over nothing because uh, Atimo's got uh, Animo's got a bigger economy going. Yeah, although he's out of food right now, he's got a lot of income. However. I mean, he's just, he's got full farms going. I think he's going to be fine. Yeah. At the same time, though, Numidan also has set up a good amount of farms, and he's just transitioning some workers back home Why to fill them up. Why doesn't Numidan have his far node on the right there? I feel like he should have that at all times. He could capture that with a single worker. You're right. Uh, Stampede has been resourced for the Triceratops Rider, so if they go Ooh. around and fight someone on, like, crystals what or something... What does that do exactly for the uh, viewers? What does, that, what does that do? Yeah, it's splash damage. So, in front of the Triceratops, it does, like, a cone AoE. Very much gotcha. like aliens. Okay, okay. Still no big units, though. I'm so sad. Well, They're they could units, be going but... tier 3 soon. I mean, this game is still relatively even. Uh, the current armies are not game-winning armies. Uh, both players can do a lot of damage right now. Oh, there's He's actually uh, 13 villagers. He's finally gonna lose that base. Yeah, definitely. But he's, he's, he's caught out with his pants down over here on the top side. Nicely evading that detonation from the fire elementals. So actually, uh, they end up ignoring the workers that are trying to run away. Numidan loses the base this and the doesn't do any damage. the last place that he's actually gathering from. So that's right. you know, him being pushed off of that's kind of a big deal. Obviously, he still has his farms and whatnot, but that was, I mean, obviously, you want to be getting your crystals from right there. Oh, look at this. He's going to try to surround these. He's going to try to get the. Oh, that's a lot of Triceratops. That is a lot. And, and he's going to be. There's a little bit of units there. Atimo nearly maxed out. I wonder if he can actually win right here. By killing this entire army, the fire he's elementals trying to detonate, are trying, trying to, to detonate. detonate. Oh, good detonations! Kill some trikes. Not nearly enough, though. The Triceratops riders uh, are very, oh, very oh, healthy. Yeah, he's, he's getting surrounded. That's it. He, he's going to need a miracle here to uh, get out of this. Quick, use a teleport power. <laughs> if, if he only <laughs> had one, right? <laughs> he's just going to run. Look at him. <laughs> oh, he's buying some time with the healers, especially. Yep. Oh, <laughs> enough time to do one more detonation. Go yeah. out in a blaze of glory, but uh, not much glory here. Go and oh my god, it's a hundred. It's two hundred population to a hundred. It's uh, not looking good. No, and Numidan's uh, out of crystal right on top of everything, so that's even a bigger problem. Uh, he would have to go after the crystals like right now. Uh, to be able to make anything other than bone adepts, which are, by the way, not even upgraded, so they don't have their... Little trike army in the south, what's that all about? Uh, I think it's a harassment group uh, looking for workers that try to go after that... Ah, uh, uh, the bushes. ...set of resources, yeah. Mm -hmm. And I think this attack down to the south may end it, but we'll see. That's a lot. I mean, that's a lot. <laughs> yep. It's actually just too much. What's the upgrade for those uh, archer saber twos? What, what does that do? Uh, they just fire faster, basically. Yeah. So we're gonna go to a game five. Yeah. So that upgrade is like an activated thing that you just turn on and they shoot better. <laughs> Man, I hope we see some raptors in this last game. I hope we see some uh, bigger dinos in that game. I want to see some elephants versus T Rexes. That's what I want. That's right. <laughs> So yeah, Atimo equalizing the series, we're going to the last game. Unless they get a draw. <laughs> <laughs> oh look, it's New Brush. Oof. New Brush is in the chat. What's he doing here? Wait, is he? I thought he's not even home. Isn't? Aren't you in Greece, by Crush? Yeah, aren't you? Aren't you in Greece? Yeah, you're not, he's not even home. So who gets the top bank? You or Temista? 
Wait, what? Uh, Tomista is also an RTS player. Uh, AOM, SC2, et etc. Uh, I think he's visiting him. Maybe not. Nimadan wants a 2v2 map again. So we'll see where this is going. So Atima is going Necro, and Numidan is going, please go, Raptor boys. Come Unfortunately, on. Tamista is retired, that's right. Uh, back to farming, he goes. <laughs> uh, that's literally his business, he does farming. Oh, <laughs> that's kind of funny. <laughs> <laughs> it's not what you'd expect from an esports personality, but no, it's oh not well. that. I, I start <laughs> because I, I think of uh, because of the farms in uh, Age of Mythology. Ah, yeah. Oh, yeah. He makes a lot of farms <laughs> there, too. <laughs> okay, here yes, we go. Gonna... I'm excited for this matchup. <laughs> Chromas versus Fifara, one of my personal favorites. Oh, do I get frustrated by it? <laughs> <laughs> But it is fun. Oh, you were on the same team in DreamHack. That's so cool, Mr. QD. So who got the top bunk there in the room? No one answering me about this. Who What's got up the top with that? bunk? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, don't worry. I got the first intro over here. Yes. In the blue, we got Numadan playing as Vithra, the Raptor Boys. On the other side, his opponent. Playing in the pink, this is Atomo, the Necromas player. Killing some dinos already. I feel like that's not pink. I feel like that's a... Uh, what color is that? It's not pink. It's like... Is it? That's, it's, there's a different the word purple? for that color. It's not purple either. It's like in between. There's, there's, a, there's a word for that, and I forgot what it's called. Uh, <laughs> there's, a, there's a color name for that. I'm sure there is. <laughs> I'm a man, you can't That's expect a... me to know these color names. <laughs> I, I figured you were a little feminine, I figured you'd know. Nah. I guess not. So, uh, he's gonna move out here, he's just gonna be gathering his food. I like that he's using these raptors uh, to grab these nodes as fast as he can, he's already got four nodes. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's really crazy, we're one minute 30 into the game, he owns everything. Uh, L Litoa says it's Magenta. Oh, that's it! That's the one! I'll keep this in mind. That's the color! See, I told you it wasn't pink. That person knew what it was. Yeah. I knew there was a name for it. I just couldn't, I just couldn't put a... Uh, I remember seeing out. like a really, really old T-Mobile ad where they were calling it <laughs> Magenta, actually. Good point. See, I know, I know my colors. I don't know anything about the game, but I got some color knowledge. All right, so still three nodes to one. Uh, I guess that is the advantage of the Vithra, but they can't actually get food from the dinosaurs. So I guess it's a trade-off, one of those trade-offs. Yeah, surely is. Do you think we're going to be seeing Raptor harass me, or do you think he's going to go to Tech 2 a little bit quicker? It's actually very dangerous to go heavy on Raptors here. Um, you generally want to go a bunch of Raptors, but then uh, start with Dinosaurus. a lot of openings on this map, a lot of routes. Yeah. Uh, basically, most of the War Party maps are like that. Uh, you got a lot of places to go, and you can harass from many places. So defending I like that gets very hard. Every time he leaves a node, he just sends a raptor to it. <laughs> <laughs> he's very good at keep on, keeping on top of that. And you know what? He's actually not making any more. He's going into Dilophosaurus, he just... just what yep. he needs. Don't get too close to that T Rex. It's gonna mess you up. Mm-hmm. Get a little aggressive. Looks like he's gonna. Is he, okay, he's gonna go for that. Is he gonna go for the uh, node on that side as well? I guess we'll find out. He could actually be going for an attack. Um, Atimo could. There's a second settlement already for Nimadan. Obviously, he doesn't know about this. So his objective nope. mainly is to take away the nodes uh, and get all of these dinos. The raptor is too far away from the node. Okay, he's, he's jumping on it now. <laughs> So what's he doing with that uh, worker down there in the south? What's the plan there? Are you make another uh, base or what? Ooh, that's very risky, but it looks like it. You're right. Um, he's actually saving up the resources now. Once he gets to, I believe, 200. No, it's just 100 crystals, actually, but it's got like 250 power cost. 
and I think Where is he going with the, oh, He's just moving back and forth. I think he's uh, just he's waiting to He's anxious to make it. Yeah, there we go. Is, uh, oh, he's going for If he catches it, that Ooh, would be disgusting. He totally could. <laughs> that would be horrible. Oh, man, it's just out of vision. <laughs> that's so nasty. No way. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah, this is not going to be spotted. Unfortunately, the spectator mode doesn't support uh, showing what the players have not seen yet. Or, or rather, it shows a, what think, they haven't seen yet. A, um, I think for that. Okay. So I switched to oh, if, 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 Atmos I, I, Vision, I, I, and I can see yeah, all can the buildings the on the map. Yeah, I, I can still see all of uh, Numidan's buildings, even the ones he haven't, hasn't found. Oh, you're right. Yeah, that should not be the case. It should be only the already scouted ones. You right, you right. But anyway, we do know he has not seen that <laughs> for a fact. Yeah, well, he definitely wasn't close <laughs> enough to see it. Yep. And if he did see it, obviously he would have attacked it. But he does have the three bases up now. He's got a f uh, just a few more raptors, but it's yeah, it's gonna be mostly the Dilophosaurus, little acid spitters. Yeah, and they they're gonna have to be met with slow gunners. Um, the spear boys are just not good enough to take them on. They take too much bonus damage. Yep. Very good map clear from Atimo. Actually, it's I, I'm pretty sure he learned where exactly all these dinos are. Oh yeah, I'm sure. Clear um, perfectly. So for Got the spectators, the middle. yeah, for the spectators, they're shown the dinos, right? But for the players, they're not. So you have mm -hmm. to learn it. Oh, do you oh, think this space pod's being built? With that's these two incredible. Raptors. Oh, he's, he's got his other raptor, and he's only got the one. Yeah, oh, it's not going to be enough. He let that raptor run by. That's unfortunate. Oh, but, he did delay it though, I guess. Yeah, at least and he knows, knows about it's it. There. Yep. Did anyone contact Kimo or Magic? I could talk to Magic. I don't have any contact with Kimo. They are two top Age of Mythology players who may like it or may not. I spoke to Magic briefly and uh, he didn't seem Ooh, too interested. Raptor. No, he lost his scout raptor that he was using to grab those nodes. That's unfortunate. Yeah, he'll have two remakes. Actually, he still has two, so he can always split them off. He's got another settlement over there on the upper right. I don't know if you saw that, but... Oh god, yeah. You're right. <laughs> I completely missed that. the place. Atim was going to it too, instead he's already got a Witch Doctor hut and immediately starts making fire elementals. Uh, on the other hand, however, there's a lot of gardens here for Nimadan, so he needs to transfer some workers to that. I think he forgot. <laughs> They're just not in use, uh, but they generate both power and food. That's the difference uh, between these and regular forms of other races. Uh, Magic plays with a single control group, just some buildings in Age of Mythology, but that game has auto queues, so I'm not sure how he would play in other games. Facts. Here's a question, if, you, if uh, one of the factions, if you're not Vithra, but your opponent kills a dinosaur and you swoop him with a raptor over the meat, can you get it? No. Aww. <laughs> no, but you can go in with your leader and steal the dino Snag when it's low. It, yeah. yeah. Oh, killing T Rex is in the middle now. Atimo is. That's pretty cool. Yeah, Atimo's uh, he's... got a lot of, uh, what do you want to call it, energy banked up. Yeah. Birds he's getting all these whatnot. nice upgrades. I don't think he has any idea that Numidan has is so spread out with his bases and his gathering from all these places. <laughs> well, good on Numidan, right? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's nice. I'm very surprised that uh, he's making these Ankylosaurus. They're basically just they're, a beef unit, uh, a beefy yeah, uh, tank. But there's so many bone adepts, it's a bit scary. Do they have splash? No, they with just tail? No. tank. And when you upgrade them with their unique upgrade, they get basically uh, Ooh, the hit, ability to be up. more tanky. Is that enough to kill that base up top? Mm, yeah. There's nothing here to defend, oh right? Uh, and the workers can't repair. That's oh, one of the differences. No. 
it's only five workers, so it's not the end of the world. Uh, the settlement so should base, fall though. though. That sucks. No, nope, yeah. he's gonna run away. From... He does this a lot. Uh, Animo does this a lot, where he, he has the opportunity to kill a base and he doesn't. But I guess oh, you know what? He feels an attack coming. I think. I think he gets sense it or he saw it or one of the two. Yeah, it, it's a perfect opportunity to swoop in. To be honest, so I really like the strat from Nimidan. And you know what? I think he can take the base. Yeah, these Ankies can probably uh, mess this base up. Yeah. Oh, there's an ability right there. Let this guy get out of that. The workers are trying to repair the base frantically, but a lot of them will pay for that with their life. Uh, with the... Oh, the Dilophosaurs are going to get caught out here. Oh, That's actually, they're rally. getting a surround. That's a bad rally. That's a bad rally. Yeah, for That's sure. Horrible. That's Ooh, horrible. Ooh, suddenly That's the supply. gross. Oh my god, the supply. Look at that. Can the Yankees even outrun that army? I don't think they can. No. Absolutely not. Uh, they've got six speed. Six plus five <laughs> for the bone adepts. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what he's gonna do. He's gonna, uh, he's gonna have to make do and just try to do something with. Oh my guys, let's hit him with that too. Oh, and he's staying in it. That's painful. Oh, and here come the, the blizzard can... elementals. They'll slow them down even more. At this point, he's just trying to buy time. Yeah. To rebuild. Maybe the army he remakes will be better. No, it's actually just normal war raptors. What I was shocked by Yoda is that none of the units have been upgraded so far. Uh, Numidan yeah. getting the onslaught upgrade now, which is going to allow uh, the Panthers to do their jump attack. And I believe it upgrades their stats as well. So once he gets a bunch of Panthers, this is actually going to turn around. That's going to be nice. But uh, the Lava Elementals together with the Bone Adepts are scary. Dryads are being made, actually. Okay, here you go with the tier 3, Yoda. <laughs> uh, Numidan got element upgrade, too. That's right. First and... of all, get that name right. I'm pretty sure those are called female Groots. <laughs> they look like Groot. It's true. <laughs> I didn't notice until now. Now you know. It's the little Grooties. <laughs> oh, oh, no. <laughs> uh, now you know. Now you know. And they just got upgraded to Dryad Empresses, which are Groot even better. Groot Empresses. Groot Empress. Oh, he's gonna lose a bunch <laughs> of armor because I got out of there. Very, very powerful <laughs> archer unit, though. Uh, oh, yeah. Numidan should be able to hold here. Despite the population deficit, it's not gonna be a problem. Look how many he's making. Look at those archers going to town. Look at those Groots. Always saving the day. And then we got the Vendingos as well, the tier 3 infantry unit. Very, very tanky in the front. It's gonna be a best of five uh, diet. Yeah, whoever wins this wins the series. And the 15 bucks. If you guys wanna increase the price, now is the time to donate. Look at these Groots holding the line. What beast? Are they not damaging the zombies? Oh, what? They're not damaging the zombies at all. That's true. What was going on with? Are, are like the they weren't damaging in? them at all. That they was were so damaging weird. these ones. Yeah, but the other one they didn't. I mean, were they missing? Can they miss? No. The game always hits everything. Apparently not, Naka, because we just saw it. Well, someone clipped that. <laughs> yeah, but the ones that was running away they didn't do any damage. It was zero damage. Invulnerability spell. Did not for the chromas. Oh, okay. I think they don't do damage when they run out of range. Okay. Uh, that's sounds it's legit. Possibility, possibility. Maybe the projectile expires or something. Yeah. You know it's the same with Dylos? All right. Well, good thing the developers see it. Maybe they can fix, do something about that. I don't know. 13 workers falling here. Yeah, he did, oh, and they got surrounded. <laughs> They're Absolute all dead. T-Rect. Oh. Yeah, adamo has got a lot more workers right now. He's got, what's that, 25 more workers, I think? Yeah. Seattle for the win. Fun? Yes, made. very fun. Very fun indeed. Oh, oh my I god, look at, look at all of these gun gardens. <laughs> oh no. I just called a guy Cialis, and that's not his name. <laughs> Close enough. 
Cialis, <laughs> uh, that's uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, uh, <laughs> no. Rip. Well, on the bright well, side, to cheer you up game. right now, uh, Silas, these are the mammoths, the tier three oh, units. The We've mammoths not have seen them. I've never seen these used yet in the game. I've never seen these used in a serious game yet. I'm so happy right now. Yeah, they're actually really, really strong. The game just needs to stabilize to get to this point. He says he's watching this because he misclicked League of Legends category. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, I like the army out of uh, Numidan though, I really do. Got some mammoths in there, he's got Ankies, he's got Groots, a lot of Groots. Tornado. Why are you calling me Swedish? I've been called Swedish. You're I'm Swedish? Hungarian. That's cool. <laughs> when did this happen? Just now. <laughs> I mean, this is 2000, what, 2019. I guess you can do that now. You just change, do whatever you want. Oh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> you are not wrong, Yoda. It just takes a few years, but you can do whatever you want. <laughs> you can be a penguin. You can be a uh, attack helicopter or an Apache helicopter is what I'm That's right. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I want to be a mammoth. You can be anything game. you want, Yoda. He says, I identify as a Swede. <laughs> <laughs> uh, look at the, the, neither of them try engaging here. They're just, they're just back and forth, back and forth. But the good thing about this for uh, Adamo is that he's just keeping him off of the uh, the fuel here. What do you, and the fuel as in everything, uh, food, crystals, everything. He's not letting him out of the base. Yeah. Actually, so one thing that... Um, thing down there in the bottom left. He's getting some resources. Yeah, that's cool. Actually, one thing okay, that... So uh, I just saw it again. Yeah, when it goes out of range, they definitely don't hit. So. Mm, absolutely. Oh, that's a beautiful ability right there. Oh. Tornado definitely Spinch. hurting everyone. And you know what? Adamo can, can, doesn't uh, even want to engage here. Would Numida not win? Why does he keep running? I feel like that the Mammoth got up front there and the archers started uh, picking off. I feel like he'd win. He's got a very, very oh, good fun case. Explosions going off there. Doing Ooh. some damage. But it's not enough. The mammoths are holding strong, and there's so many dryads left over. And so many holds. upgrades being made by both players. Very good to see. <laughs> Penguin expansion pack. Yes, that's coming <laughs> next. Next week, killer penguins. I like it. I now would like to uh, see both players make some buildings in the middle of the map, to be honest. It's so cheap to just make some barracks. Interesting. Uh, now that the game is getting longer, they are getting closer and closer together, though, uh, to gather things. So. Yeah, they really don't want to transition into trade, right? It's just a bit expensive to make all those uh I feel like without caravans. walls and stuff in the game, though, trade's going to be more vulnerable than it is in Age of Mythology and whatnot. Oh, sure as hell it is. Yeah. But I guess you can put towers in multiple places. Yes. I'm not sure how expensive they are. Uh, the scaling cost. Um, the more you make, the more expensive they are. But Oof. there's no limit. All right. We got. Oh, he's gonna hit his resources again. He's. Uh, Adam is on top of this. Everywhere that uh, Numidan has been trying to gather resources for like the past ten minutes, he's just on top of it. All right. Here comes the uh, Groots, though. You'd think that Groots would lose to fire because they're they're made of wood. Yeah. But apparently not, because they're just pooping on those things. <laughs> but they are a tier higher up, right? Look like at the... these mammoths. I want to see the upgrade for the mammoths. They look cool. They oh, look yeah, cool with ones. the woolly mammoth, they get a oh, nice haircut. Oh, tried to explode on them right there. Good luck exploding on 770 HP units. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at him going right in the choke. But I don't think the choke's good for him. He's got... uh, the Groots have longer range. So chokes are good for him. That's right. And obviously the mammoths do splash, so I mean, it, everywhere we go, oh, look at this, we got the, uh, the branches right there slowing them down. Oh, we got the mystic n narrates. Ooh. They're able to do these whirlpool ability, which is basically like stormy Starcraft. Very, very powerful. Wonder where they got that idea. 
Never seen that before. Oh look, we got we got golems. What are, what are they called in this game? I keep forgetting. Yeah, they're called golems. I got it right that time. That's right. And they've got an <laughs> activate ability that basically makes them faster and attack harder at the cost of some health. That's basically stem from StarCraft. But on the melee unit, it's way more interesting. I'd love to see these mammoths get upgraded. Oh my god, look at the splash in the mammoth! Oh, but two more hits would have killed all those workers. Oh, they did another crazy. poke there. Once you got like five mammoths, oh, they basically going down. them. Yeah, this is probably the best game yet, and it's the last one. This is a good final game, I think. I'm enjoying this. Yeah. Both players are maxed out, basically. Oh, what's bad is like? It's north here. pretty good. Looks like they're gonna get caught a little bit. Balance is being figured out. Can't really comment. Uh, because of the uh, total population here uh, and the worker count, Numidan does have the bigger army. Oh yeah. And if he beats the entire army, that's gonna be a big problem for Atimo. Atimo could remax once. Uh, Facts. But after but that, he's got such a nice army trouble. right now. Oh, he's got him in the slow as well. Ooh, that could be chase, really brutal. He's got a whirlwind right there. Tornado going down right on the golems. So much splash damage. Meanwhile, Atimo's also made four crystal mines, so he's tr quad pumping the trade. Yeah. Yeah, I think uh, New Dan behind this is finally trying to branch out with his eco, but uh, it's getting hit. There's, there's, it actually hits the bottom left of the map. I don't know if you saw that. They're still they're keeping the. Uh, uh, the resources so that they can't be get but over here on the right side we do have that large engagement Adam oh he's got some good explosions going off I guess the HP and those units just don't care though <laughs> no absolutely not he could be killing the dryads but even that is hard uh, just getting in there right both players are around 100 oh, good look bucks. at the splash going off Ooh. oh my god Everything army is just shredding, and I guess this is what uh, uh, Adamo gets for not going for a tier three units. I mean, he's, he's in a big tier two one army versus all tier th like what is this all tier three? I think literally everything here that you see from Nimadan is tier, is three. tier three, and yep. he's finishing the mammoth upgrade right now. So this is gonna and probably gonna be end the game. Disgusting. The splash damage I think with that upgrade is uh, pretty monumental. It's real nasty, and they got even more HP, I believe. He's just bullying this now. Oh, there's oh, the no, they Look at these. They got this a good so cool. haircut. <laughs> oh, they're just smashing through these. Ooh, look at these whirlpools. Not gonna want to know if you're uploading this to YouTube. Absolutely going up on YouTube. Big ol' YouTubey. These mammoths are absolutely no joke. These are great. No. And that's gonna finish the series. Nimadan winning 3 to 2 with that. What a game. That was awesome. That was awesome. <laughs> that was amazing. Oh no. I thought my, my casting got a lot better there halfway through after I figured out what was going on. <laughs> yeah, totally, dude. <laughs> ah, that it's was. That was enjoyable to watch. It's a pretty game. It's really back and forth. I love that series. I love it when uh, series yes. like that are go to the final game. It's always a pleasure to watch. And look at the economy. And uh, the economy was neck and neck. Unfortunately, said, the um, view broke not, for it's me. It's not accurate. Or but uh, I, I do believe you. So. When is the bug fix coming for Necromas being able to lose? <laughs> awesome. Hey, wave ward. <laughs> nice one. Well, yeah, that thanks for casting. I'm going to go back to some uh, ladder, I think. Hope you had some fun too. I know I did.